Okay, so we've done a lot with uh, sizing torques. We do explain what types of gear there are, diametric pitch, uh, and all that fun stuff. But how big does my tooth need to be should be the question ringing in your minds. And that's a great question. Uh, and it, it's a very simple formula as to um, uh, what that is. All right, so the formula is your tangential force maximum is limited by your allowable stress times your gear width times something called the Lewis form factor represented by the uppercase letter Y and divided by your pitch diameter. All right, so very, very simple. If you want um, more tangential force, you minimize this and you maximize all of these. All right, so I can get a gear with higher strength. I can make my gear wider. I can improve my Lewis form factor and I could decrease my pitch diameter. Conversely, if I had way too much of a design factor or safety factor, service factor, whatever you want to call it, um, I could lower these top numbers and raise the bottom one. So the Lewis form factor is a value that has been tabulated. I have a tabulation on my website. If you search for Lewis form factor on my website, you will find uh, the table there. And um, Lewis form factor is uh, a value that's been empirically founded and it usually ranges from about 0.15 to 0.50. And it's based on the number of teeth in your, uh, on, your, on your gear. And it's also based on the pressure angle. So depending on those two things, that's what forms that. Uh, so a rack gear is going to be uh, closer to the 0.5 number and a very small pinion gear is going to be closer to the 0.15. So let's assign some numbers to this and just see what we get. All right, so I'm going to say that my gear is made out of some mild steel at 50 KSI and my width is one inch and my I'm going to use my 24 uh, tooth gear which gives me a, uh, a Lewis form factor of point three two nine and my um, diametrical pitch is six all right so if I do all the math there and I make sure that I use uh, PSI here instead of KSI I'm gonna come up with 27 42 pounds is my maximum tangential force all right and if I had that case before where I said oh, I only had a hundred pounds uh, that's about, you know, that's a safety factor of uh, 27. So looking good there. I can obviously bring that up. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind is that when you're using a, a, ser uh, a safety factor, service factor, design factor, whatever you want to call, you want to make sure that it is for, um, you know, you're taking your dynamic loads in into consideration. Now what they've, uh, uh, done over the years is actually come up with a, a constant that you will put in front of this. Um, and that constant is constant KD. All that is say is we get 27,042 pounds and that is a static number. But we're running under dynamic loads. Uh, so we want to have a slightly modified formula. They've uh, added a constant here. And that is equal to, here's the constant, KD times your allowable stress times your width and your lowest form factor over your pitch diameter. All right, so same formula, we just added this guy in. All right, and KD is actually an equation. Um, it is equal to uh, constant A over A plus your velocity, and that's your tangential velocity in feet per minute. So obviously if your velocity is nothing this is going to be one because it's just A over A. But if your velocity is very fast it's going to be uh, different or it's going to be a lot lower. Okay so um, as far as A goes A would equal uh, 600 
And this is done a lot by empirical uh, measurements. Uh, and that is um, even though this this, this is a number you, you treat it as a uh, essentially feet per minute. That way all of our units cancel out. All right, kind of doesn't mean anything, but uh, we're gonna assign units just so we can add six, uh, 600 feet per minute plus whatever feet per minute to get an answer. Uh, this is gonna be for normal gears. All right, if we have pre precision gears, we're gonna use a number double to that. All right, precision. Okay, so let's just assume that our velocity is also uh, 600 feet per minute. So that's gonna give us a KD. So if I assume that's 600, and just say I'm using a normal gear, uh, so we're going to get 600 over 1200. So our KD is going to be equal to 0 0.5. All right, quick example. We just cut our force in half. So we're looking at what, uh, 2370? Uh, or uh, sorry, 1370 pounds uh, that our, our uh, gear tooth can take. Now you also probably don't want to be running right up at um, your yield strength. So you probably want to add another design factor on top of that. And that may be, I don't know, somewhere between uh, 1.5 and, and 2, 3 if you're really cautious. Uh, all depends on your application. If you have something that's hitting these teeth uh, really hard, you're going to want to uh, up that design factor. All right, well that's how you do that and uh, appreciate you uh, watching this video. Thank you.